Welcome to Sea Level 2 Minute Models. Today we're going to look at how to use feature trees for scope management, requirements organization, and requirements gathering. Regarding scope, it's best to create a feature tree early in a project because it defines the breadth of work and helps identify missing features. However, they are also useful throughout a project to keep scope reined in. Feature trees are ideal to share with stakeholders to communicate scope because they conveniently fit everything on a single page and are easy to review. Ask stakeholders to call out any gaps. The model is always a work in progress, so keep it updated. This model is really helpful for organization. The tree branches provide an ideal starting point to organize requirements by feature area. And the branches are also helpful for organizing requirements gathering effort. The team can work on each L1 branch together or split up the entire tree and work on them individually. Finally, feature trees can be used to identify gaps when deriving requirements. Review the tree against your other models and use cases to confirm that they cover all of the features. And after the requirements have been organized by feature, make sure that each feature has requirements associated with it. If not, you're missing requirements. Add them in. Thanks for watching C-Level 2-Minute Models.